This video is brought to you by Prompt Valley Air Conditioning and Heating. 775-727-7488. Someone who has a coronavirus infection really can present with a cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, fatigue, and sometimes they have a loss of taste and smell. But very frequently, people with allergies and severe allergies and asthma can have very similar symptoms. Dr. Hong says nasal steroids are a good way to control allergy symptoms like a stuffy nose, post-nasal drip, and itchy eyes. Another option is an antihistamine, which will help with sneezing, dripping, and itching. If your child's allergies are really flared up, she says a combination of the two treatments works well. And when it comes to asthma, it's always a good idea to make sure asthma symptoms are well controlled as we approach cold and flu season to avoid respiratory complications. If your child is attending school in person, she recommends providing the school with an asthma action plan and emergency inhalers. Parents should also be sure asthma control medicines are working properly. If you're noticing symptoms more than two times a week of coughing or wheezing or shortness of breath, you're needing to use your rescue inhaler frequently. The answer is that you need to have a better control or medication to keep you from feeling those symptoms. Dr. Hong says it's safe for kids with asthma and allergies to wear a mask at school and that having symptoms under control will make wearing a mask more tolerable.